Today, we are going to tell you 10 facts about Canada that you probably don't know. Sadika, hello and welcome to Tishi Dilko. Today we're going to be talking about 10 random fun facts about Canada that may come up in, in conversation or just to give you some knowledge about our country. But before we do that, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications and like this video so you don't miss any more content from us. We really appreciate all your support. The first random fun fact about Canada is one we've alluded to, mentioned before in other videos, but it's the fact that Canada is the second largest country in the world by land area. So any guesses on what the first is? Russia. Russia has a land mass of 17 million kilometers squared, according to Wikipedia, whereas Canada has close to 10 million, just under 10 million square kilometers of land mass. However, despite being the second biggest country in the world, we have mentioned before that Canada has a smaller population than California in the United States. So as of 2023, Canada's population estimate is about 38.7 million people, whereas California, the state alone, comes in at 38.9 million. So to put Canada's size in perspective, our country is larger than the entire European Union, so big that Canada itself has six different time zones from west to east, Pacific, Mountain, Central, Eastern, Atlantic, and Newfoundland. Yep, one province gets their own time zone. So we've also mentioned a few times on the show uh, about Canada's indigenous uh, population or the people who inhabited North America in general before European settlers, you know, migrated over. And these peoples, the indigenous peoples of North America, have many different tribes. And actually, the word Canada itself is our number two fact. The name Canada is actually a Iroquois word. And Iroquois were one of the indigenous peoples who um, inhabited Canada. And that word, Kanata, it references village, the people. So when the settlers came over, this was kind of lost in translation. Um, you know, they were asking the local tribes, um, what's this land called? And, you know, they referred to Kanata, but that just means in general, the people, the village. But from that point on, the European settlers um, took the word Canada, Kanata, Canada, to be the name of the land, the country. So fact number three is actually, we know a lot of you viewers are in Thailand and just like Thailand, Canada is actually a monarchy. Now, maybe not so much anymore in how it all operates um, and more of a symbolic thing, but we do still have ties to the British uh, monarchy. Uh, when Canada was founded, it was founded and claimed for the British under the British Commonwealth and for our entire history as a country, um, we became a independent nation in 1867, but we were still under the British Commonwealth. And the Queen or King, so Queen Elizabeth, uh, most of my life until now King Charles, has been the monarch of Canada. So just like Thailand, that monarch is our head of state and our prime minister is our head of government. A fun fact, about this nowadays is that for for many many years the uh, symbolic representation of the British king or queen in Canada is a political position known as Canada's governor general and this could be a man or a woman appointed by our government. Despite Canada being uh, an independent country in 1867 it truly didn't completely sever ties from the British monarchy until 1982. 
So despite it being, you know, still a symbolic relationship nowadays, it wasn't until 1982 that Canada officially adopted its own uh, specific constitution and human rights code, etc., and really severed ties through the Canada Act of 1982. Fun fact number four. Canada has the longest highway in the world. So this highway is known as the Trans-Canada Highway and it runs from the west coast uh, in Vancouver all the way to Prince Edward Island on the, the far east coast of Canada and it actually spans the Confederation Bridge to connect the mainland to Prince Edward Island and that bridge alone is almost 13 kilometers of bridge across the Atlantic Ocean to complete the Trans-Canada Highway. Well, the Trans Canada often referred to just simply as the number one. So a lot of our highways in Canada are numbered and it goes by the number one. Fact number five, Canada actually has two official languages, English and French. And while most of the country is predominantly English, we do have the province of Quebec, which includes the city of Montreal, which is officially French speaking. A lot of people around the world think it's uh, Quebec is a bilingual uh, province, but its official language is French. We do, however, have one official bilingual province, and that is New Brunswick, where every street sign is in both French and English, whereas the most of the country street signs will be in English and Quebec, they're in French. So with the two official languages in Canada, one thing you'll notice when shopping, whether it's grocery stores or even online, many receipts you receive, many labels, actually nearly all of them, will be written in both English and French. And another fun fact is that Montreal, being a city of just under two million people, is the second largest French-speaking city in the world after Paris. Fun fact number six, Canada is home to about 20% of all the world's fresh water. And the reason for this is Canada has tons and tons of lakes, freestanding fresh water all across the country. You may have heard of the Great Lakes region around Ontario and it, it borders into the US as well with, you know, Lake Superior, Lake Huron, Lake Michigan, Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, number five. However, those aren't even the biggest lakes in Canada. Two out of the 10 world's biggest lakes actually are in the northern part of Canada in the Canadian territories. And that is Great Bear Lake and Great Slave Lake. Number seven. So Canada's capital city is Ottawa, located in the province of Ontario. And Ottawa is one of the world's coldest capital cities behind cities like Moscow, Helsinki, and Reykjavik. Number eight, a food fun fact about Canada and a confusing one, the Hawaiian pizza. So that's the traditional pizza of ham and pineapple was invented right here in Canada, actually in Ontario, Canada. For whatever reason, it was invented here despite Pineapples don't grow here, and they aren't at all Canadian. We did invent the Hawaiian pizza, and it is in fact one of the most controversial pizzas across the world because of the fact it has pineapple on it. And it wasn't invented in Thailand either, and in fact, it is one of the most popular pizzas in Australia. So yes, if you're from Thailand, you'll be able to get plenty of Hawaiian pizzas in Canada. Fact number nine. Now, if you've been to North America, you may have heard or be aware of what's known as daylight savings time. And daylight savings time is a time change that occurs twice a year in Canadian provinces and US states. However, there is one Canadian province which does not observe daylight savings time. The clocks never change. So generally with daylight savings time, provinces are you know moving forward in the spring and then moving an hour back in the fall. However, in Saskatchewan, Canada, we never change our clocks and you never have to think about what time it is here. Finally, Number 10, our last fun fact about Canada. And while we probably could have chosen 
a lot more to go into. This one is pretty fun. And it's actually something I experienced growing up as a kid in Canada. So in Canada, around Christmas time in December, you can actually get a letter from Santa Claus. Often the traditions with Christmas and, and getting gifts at Christmas time come from Santa and you know kids write their wish lists of gifts to Santa. And in Canada, our national post office, Canada Post, uh, has a service where at Christmas, they'll allow you to address and mail your letter to the North Pole at postal code H-O-H-O-H-O, which spells out ho 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 for Santa Claus. And someone at the post office will write back to those kids in letter format from Santa. And if you're a kid watching, it's Santa writing. I don't know if they do this anywhere else in the world that celebrates Christmas, but I know as a, as a kid, I had a lot of fun um, getting these letters every year, you know, writing in and, and receiving something back in the mail. Those were 10 facts about Canada that we hope you enjoyed. And if you have any others that you, you've learned in your, in your time here or have read online, feel free to drop those in the comments and, and share them with us. We really thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any more content. And if you have any ideas for content, please let us know. We do review and, and look forward to working through all those suggestions. Thanks for all the support. Sadi Cap. See you next video.